Are you obsessed with making whimsical faces and mixed media portraits in your art journals and on canvas? But you might need a little help figuring out where those highlights go to really pack a punch with your beautiful girls that you're making. Well, I came here today to show you my best tips and places all around the face that you can add a punch of white to really bring your characters to life in your art journal and on canvas. Just a little quick word before I dive in and show you an example. There's a lot of options when it comes to adding white highlights. If you like a real bold, bold highlights like I do and like I'm gonna show you. I recommend using a paint pen like Posca. My current favorite obsession right now is actually this Copic White. It has like a nail polish like applicator and I cannot get enough to be honest. It's also nice because you can also add a little bit of water if you wanna dilute it down. So you don't always pack the biggest punch in the whole wide world if you don't want to. You can also use for more subtle highlights something like an art crayon or gelato and apply that over your acrylics and that produces a really nice soft highlight or glow. Pit pens work really, really well, believe it or not. They're, they're much more opaque than you would think, so I love me a pit pen in white. And this is a favorite of my good friend Lucy. She loves this one by Dr. P.H. Martins and she often dilutes that on a brush with a little bit of water to give it a little bit more of a subtle highlight. But as promised, here are the best places that you can apply highlights to your mixed media girls in three and a half minutes without fail. Let's go. So the most obvious place to begin is in the eyes. So I always put a highlight inside of the blackest part of the pupil. And then I will also throw a dot in the iris or the colored portion as well. You can also put a highlight in the tear duct itself and also in the areas just outside of the tear duct. And that will give a really sort of sparkly, really lively look to your character that you're creating, your mixed media portrait. You can also highlight the ball of the nose and the top of the nostrils. Again, it makes your nose more three-dimensional. And you can also highlight the ball of the chin. Now, the ball of the nose and the ball of the chin can be literal circles. And also the top of the lip catches the light as well as the middle of the bottom lip. And you can also chuck a highlight in the lip dip, <laughs> the eyelids, and on top of the brow bones. All of those stick out slightly and are absolutely fantastic candidates for a highlight, as are the top of the cheeks. If you want to give your star <laughs> a twinkle, extra twinkle in the eye to make them look moistened, you can pop a highlight on the bottom lid. Now, of course, ears stick out as well. So feel free to add a little highlight uh, pretty much anywhere on the outer ridge of the ears. Now, if you want your character or mixed media portrait to look symmetrical, like the light source is coming straight at you, you would do the same highlights on both sides. So if she has highlights on one brow bone and one cheekbone, you would add them on the other side. So this is very dependent upon your light source, but in this example, I wanted to show you like the maximum highlighting capacity that you have. And with that being said, that means we also need to do the other ear. I'm now noticing how lopsided she is, but you know what? Humans are lopsided. We're not, we're not exactly correct, right? So it makes sense. Okay, so let's keep it going. You can also, again, if you're going for symmet symmetry, you should be putting the highlights. If you have it on one side of her lip dip, <laughs> you should have one on the other side. So I'm using my Posca pen to go ahead and make that symmetrical and have them on both sides. All right, now where else can you go? Now, a lot of times, uh, quite frequently, you have the bones in your forehead that come forward. Since your head is a rounded object, the parts of the head that come towards you will be able to catch some light as well. So those are fair game. And my favorite 
last place to highlight is some individual strands of hair. This can make a really striking effect, and it also sort of makes sense of the bold highlights if you're going that bold in the rest of your portrait. So I highly recommend highlighting some individual strand with some big, bold, white highlights, and boom, less than four minutes, you have a whole highlighted, beautiful mixed-media portrait.